Hey guys, well today I'm going to show you how to summarize your snowmobile. Now this system that I show you is only on the E-Tech engines. Skidoo has it uh, on the 800, 600 and the 850s. I already warmed it up. Now, you gotta make sure your trip meter is on your kilometers. And now, you wanna push your high beams on and off and the S button. Now, you push your high beams on and off and you push the S button. Now, it's saying press and hold. So you press and hold the S button and show rev up around 2000 RPM. That's it, she'll shut down. And that's it, that's how you winterize your engine. What that does, it's actually uh, sending injection oil to all the crucial points and spots to the engine. It's actually like filling it up with oil so uh, you can let it sit over the winter and uh, she won't seize up, she'll be oiled up and uh, she'll be good to go. Now, you wanna disconnect your key just in case you start it up by accident. I have it on wheels. So I'm just gonna wheel it in the corner. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Now, I hope it's not too dark in here for you guys, but thanks to my cousin Steve, he hooked me up with this uh, jack. Put it on the bumper. You just raise, and she's off the ground. You don't want to keep your track on the concrete floor or anywhere for that matter. You want to keep it up in the air. And uh, if I got to move it around, I got the wheels, I just move it around, there's no problem. Now, what I did do before uh, I started it and warmed it up, uh, I opened up the side panels on both sides and I sprayed all the wiring down with WD-40 on my hand grips, everywhere. All the wires, I sprayed it down with WD-40. I even sprayed some on the, on the engine and the exhaust. So, uh, don't rust out or it stays nice and uh, oiled up which is a good idea all the electrical you should always spray with WD-40 dirt bikes cars snowmobiles everything I also sprayed WD-40 in the skid all over all over the skid I sprayed WD-40 so it stays nice and doesn't get rusted but I'll end up uh, power washing it as soon as I get the chance or once it gets all dusty because in here you should cover it up I don't have a cover for it yet and uh, I can move it around just roll it outside and give it a shot with the power wash every once in a while keep it all clean now I got a battery tender works really good you just plug it in plug it into your sled and uh, keeps the battery charged all season when the light's green, that means it's charging. When it's red, it's fully charged. You don't have to unplug it. It'll go off and on, all on its own. Works really good. Uh, keeps the battery charged fully, all the time. Now I just opened the side panel. And I have the battery tender right here. I have it stashed. 
this you hook it up directly to your battery I did that when I first bought this you just plug it in and that's all I put it in that spot because it's pretty convenient I can keep this closed and it just hangs out like that now the sled has been really good to me I've been riding it every day. We had a short season this year, but uh, I still put on about 5,000 kilometers on it and uh, run, ran really good, still runs really good. But uh, I think it's time, uh, it's uh, coming close to six, 16,000 kilometers. So uh, it's time to refresh the engine. But I was thinking of getting a crate engine and slapping it in there. If you guys want to see that or like that kind of stuff, uh, I'll show you guys how to, how to change the engine on these uh, snowmobiles very easy uh, snowmobiles are pretty basic uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and uh, I'll keep you guys posted uh, during the summer when I get the engine so I think that's it for now stay safe see you guys next time